been a bit <laughs> spitting on myself. Holy shit. Okay. That time of the month again and I have my favorites in front of me. Hello to all of the new faces by the way. Um, I noticed that I hit 3,000 subscribers so um, I think I, w I was around, I I'm not even sure, I don't even pay attention anymore but um, I think it was like 2,500 or something like that, I'm not sure. But hello to everyone. Um, I will start out with what's in front of me, no random order. Um, of course I have nothing on my nails now but I have been reaching for the Sephora Formula X nail polish in white matter. I'm a big fan of the whole white nail trend thing. Um, I just, two coats of this and it's fine. It's super opaque. Um, it does get a little clumpy, not clumpy, but a little thick. So I have to do it twice, but really light layers. But then the top coat that I use, I use the Sesh Feet and it works just fine. Next up I have uh, eyeshadow pencils. And I like to call these shadow kebabs because they're eyeshadow on a stick. That was super cheesy, wasn't it? Ah oh, well. Anyway, um, I have the Marc Jacobs uh, Twinkle Pop eye, eye Stick and then a NARS Soft Touch Shadow Pencil. The Marc Jacob one uh, the Marc Jacobs one. I the packaging is just super cool. Like look at that. It the color of the actual eyeshadow is on the tip of it almost looks like a pencil. Like I can write with it or something. But it's super cool. Just roll it up like that. I did a review on this already, but every single time I put this on there's some type of cooling agent in it. I'm not sure what it is, but I swipe it on my eyes and it's so cooling and refreshing and it's so creamy and pigmented. Next was the NARS eyeshadow pencil. And I can't pronounce this for the life of me. Ugh, Araclean, Araclean, I, I, I'll link it down below, but it is kind of like a rose gold uh, shadow pencil. Um, it makes me think of Max Patina, but in cream shadow form, if that makes sense at all. A little bit on the pinkier side. There's some pink tinge to it, but it's almost like a mauve -y tinge. I, I don't know. Are, my, are you guys still with me? Am I losing you? Because I'm not making any sense describing it um, yeah so very natural it's nothing uh, super bright in your face this is great for every day I think and um, I love it absolutely love this next favorite is a product from Jouer and it is their highlighter in champagne and I've been wearing this all month I literally, I take a, what is it, a flat foundation brush, just kind of slap it in there because it's a, it's a cream highlighter. And um, all I do is just lay it over the top of my cheekbones, put some on the cupid's bow, on the bridge of my nose, sometimes even on the center of my forehead if I really want to get that really glowy look. But I love this stuff and it looks so natural and it's a rose gold shade so it looks good on tan skin I think and uh, they do two other shades I'm sure I'm pretty sure I could be wrong though but I will link it down below love this stuff um, when my face is acting up and breaking out um, I have used this it is the First Aid Beauty Skin Rescue Purifying Mask with Red Clay. It says it minimizes pores, controls oil, and mattifies. What it is, it's one of those masks that you kind of peel off your face. Uh, you put it on, it's a really thick consistency, so you have to work with it pretty fast. Uh, leave it on for about 20 minutes until it's pretty dry, I'd say completely dry and you just peel it off and whatever's left uh, take uh, warm water and just you know 
take it off, but I, I've used this three times this month already, and my forehead's completely clear. Um, I was going through, I go in and out of stuff. I really think it's all the shit that I eat. Like, I, such a bad eater, and I drink a shitload of soda. Like, I wake up in the morning, and the first thing I have is a Pepsi. Like, I crave Pepsi. Anyway. So, I really think it's all the shit that I freaking I, I eat. Ooh. But, uh... This has definitely helped with my pores, uh, like getting all that nasty stuff out. Uh, control oil. I really, I get oily, but here's the thing. I kind of like that I get oily. I don't know. <laughs> I know some people hate being oily, but I like when I get a little bit of shine on my forehead. Sometimes a little shine on my chin. I don't mind it. Even um, on the tops of my cheeks, I might get a tad bit oily, but not too, too much. I just think it, it um, it's, it's not too much. It's not over the top for me. I'll get oily on my nose or something like that, but I can always put powder on it. But um, I don't find that it's done anything with my oiliness. I just, I know that it's helped with my breakouts for sure. So really love this stuff. It's so good. And I like the, the sensation, kind of like when you're peeling it off. feels weird, but I put this on and my daughter was like, what the heck is on your face, mom? What is that? What happened to your face? That's what she said to me. So dwell. I think that's how it's pronounced. I'm not sure. Fall's coming. I am so ready for fall. I am over this hot summer sweaty shit. I've had enough of it. Like... I'm not one to wear shorts in the summer all too much. I'm not crazy about dresses. I like to wear black throughout the entire summer. I wear jeans throughout summer. Like, I, I don't really care. I don't care to show my legs or anything like that. So, along with that, you have all the summery scents and things like that. It's too damn hot to wear something that's, you know, a vanilla. It's it's very uh, spicy, warm, like this makes me think of Christmas, fall, it's just really spicy. I know it has a lot of uh, vanilla undertones to it. I don't know what else. It's just a very strong, nice, seductive, not that I'm trying to be seductive or anything like that, but... Okay, last favorite, or I should say second to last, I'm sorry. Um, is this watch and it is from Daniel Wellington and uh, it was sent to me and I love it it's such a classic timeless watch I know the sun's glaring in it but it's a nice leather band the face is nice and big which I like it's not too too big it's not overpowering but I kind of like that boyfriend look it is the I think it's the classic Sheffield lady watch but they have a bunch of different watches you can look on their site. I will link them down below and they've also given me a coupon code uh, for 15% off your first purchase. So if you are interested in getting one of these watches, I will put the code down below. All you have to do is type in uh, lipstick with some sunshine and you get 15% off. And it's a great watch. I think it's really, really like classic. Exactly what the, the, uh, the title of it is called. It's a gorgeous watch. Absolutely love it. My last favorite, and I know I shouldn't show these on camera, but I don't care. Like, women wear bras, women wear underwear, so why do I have to apologize for it, right? But these lace bralettes, like, I have a ton. I have a bunch of black ones, I know, but lace bralettes. I, I haven't worn a bra like a proper bra. I don't even know how long because all I wear are these. Um, I don't have too much going on in the, uh, the chat. Well, I don't have too much going on, period, anywhere. I'm just a walking stick. But I do, I'm able to wear these. And um, this one, actually, this one's from Aerie. And I love this one. I think I want to go and get, uh, I want to get it in black and maybe a white one if they have it in white. But this one, 
it has underwire in it, but it's not uncomfortable, but it kind of gives you a little bit of extra support. Um, but it's still that lacy, thin material, like my tiny boobs can breathe. It's really pretty. Even the side detailing, I really love this. Love this one. Um, I'm not sure what style it is either, but I think I'm going to go see if I can find it in different colors because I absolutely, this one's my favorite out of the bunch. This one's also an airy one in white. This one I got from Urban Outfitters. I showed you guys in a haul. It's like a dusty, mauve pinky shade. And then this one from Triangle, which is really cool. And then my Tallulah one from Aritzia. And then I have a couple more from Airy. I will see you guys in the next one. I'm gonna go paint my nails now because they're disgusting. Peace. <laughs>